what's up everyone, same time gaming here, welcome back for another Division 2 build video. Well guys, today I actually have another fun to run build for y'all. Actually, more than a fun to run, it's, uh, it's super like good, serious like damage DPS build. And also, you know, you have a lot of survivability. Usually when you go for a build uh, where you keep a lot of survivability, you know, the damage gets lower. Uh, or if you're, you know, using a full-on DPS build and the survivability is not there and you're probably gonna die. Uh, well, of course, you know, full DPS builds are good for group gameplay. And if you're, if you're a solo player, then you need something to survive because like I always say in my build videos, if you can survive anything, you can kill anything. But this build it has some serious damage into it, and at the same time, uh, you can survive a lot. So I am in, uh, using an SMG. You can see it's an SMG build, so uh, it's for people who like to run and gun basically, and you will survive literally anything out there. It doesn't matter if you're doing a control points missions or whatever. You can also use this build in group, and it has some super damage, like good damage on it. And survivability is also on par there, so you should be just fine. So if you're looking for a DPS build where you not only do damage but also survive at the same time you should uh you know take a look at this build now the good thing about this build is you can actually change a couple of pieces here and there to completely transfer this build from uh, dps to uh you know survivability more dps whichever one you need like if you want higher dps you can run in that way if you want higher uh, survivability you can run in the other way it's totally up to you so let me just show, show you the build over here as you can see this is the build um it's pretty much you know all high ends here of course the memento is there now we're using the gunner specialization for 10 percent armor on kill mainly and i'm using the smg the sig mpx because i felt the sig mpx is a very balanced weapon it doesn't have super high rpm where the the damage is low or super high base damage where the rpm is low it's a perfect balance between rpm and uh you know uh, weapon damage so i feel like this is actually good now it's perfect goggle i actually have a preservation talent here and the reason why i have preservation talent because every time i will get a kill uh, it's going to heal me like 10 percent of my armor will be repaired over five seconds now remember when it comes to armor on kill and regen the more armor you have the more regen and armor on kill you will get. But for PvE mainly, you don't really need that much of armor. So I feel 1.3 mil is the sweet spot uh, to balance out the damage and survivability. Doesn't matter if you're playing solo or group. So that's why the preservation talent is super good here because every time I get a kill, it refreshes the talent, which is good. So if you keep getting the kill because your DPS is high enough to get uh, like kill anything out there, so you will be re uh, refreshing this talent and you'll get that 10% armor uh, over five seconds every time because it refreshes, which is really good. And if you get a headshot kill, it's going to you know increase by 10 more percent, so you'll have 20% uh, regen at that time, so which is nice. The secondary, you have a scorpion because you know you get that stagger you get that uh, status effects just you know using it you can use a lady death if you want to uh, it's totally up to you whatever you want to do or you can use the emeline's guard which has basically the better version or the perfect version of the preservation talent so you can uh, use that as well now for the gear and stuff what is going on so i have a grupo mask here with armor rolled on it um because grupo gives me crit damage so i have crit damage crit chance crit damage mod here um i have two piece of sokolov because one piece Sokolov gives me 10% SMG damage, two piece Sokolov gives me 15% critical hit damage, so which is nice, it's an SMG build, so I'm gonna go for that. A weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance, crit damage mod, and intimidate talent. You can use obliterate if you want to, it's totally up to you. Because there's uh, like intimidate and obliterate, these are the two talents that's dominating the game right now, especially when it comes to DPS builds. So yeah. Now for the holster again, Sokolov, second piece. Weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance here. Uh, for the knee pads, I'm going to go for Fox's Prey. I'm multiplicative damage there, 8% target out of cover. Now, the reason why I'm going for the uh, Fox's Prey, because since I'm using an SMG build, I'm going to go up close to my targets. And even though en enemies are hiding behind cover, uh, when you move close to the targets, they will get out of cover. So the Fox's Prey will work at that time. So, yeah. Um, now, for the gloves, I'm using actually the Death Grips. This is a Dark Zone exclusive. If you don't have it, I have an alternative which you can use, but you should be using Death Grips because it gives you 10% armor on kill. So it, now you have 20% armor on kill on this build. So we have the Gunner Specialization and also the Death Grips. So we have armor on kill from both of these. We got the regen from the weapon talent and Memento is also going to give us 3% regen plus the bonus armor. And we have four reds on this build and two blues actually sorry three blues so we will have good amount of bonus armor and also really high damage when we pick up the memento trophy so like i said the damage and survivability on this build is perfectly balanced 
Now, if you don't have the dead griefs because it's a dark zone exclusive, you can actually use the contractor gloves for more damage. You can use one with armor on it. Right now, Cassie Mendoza is selling a contractor gloves with critical hit damage, so you can change the weapon damage to armor. You can use that, or you can throw in a bellstone armory piece. A bellstone armory gloves, you know, you can use that because it gives you 1% regen, so that will improve your regen. And if you want, you can uh, swap, you know, any of the Sokolov piece. Uh, the holster or the grupo mask and put one more bellstone so that will give you extra 10% armor on kill so then you will have 30% armor on kill on your build and your damage will be reduced by 15% because you know uh, whatever you take off the grupo or the sheshka will take off 15% damage from your build but if that doesn't hurt you especially when you're solo it's not gonna hurt you because when you're solo you don't need crazy amount of damage but yeah on a group uh, when three other guys are also doing the damage so if you want to get more kills and stuff like that yeah you can run more damage i would say but if you're if you're running solo you can you can add one more bellstone piece like two more and get uh armor on kill like that so i would say this is a pretty solid build just try it out it's going to be really fine i mean I i'm pretty sure most of you guys have uh these pieces here and like i said if you don't have the uh, dead grips just run something else bellstone or uh, contractor gloves now if i show you my crits here I have 180% critical hit damage. I have 53% crit chance. We could be higher, but it's fine. 53 is fine. So we got this crit damage here. Um, and yeah, and if I show you my defensive stats, I have 257,000 of armor on kill on 1.2 million armor. Actually, it's 1.3, but it shows like that, but whatever. So we got that. And no armor region right now. It's not showing up. But when Memento, you know is all the way up proc so we get three percent regen i mean you're seeing on the cliffs i'm surviving pretty good damage is really really awesome and whenever you get the kill from uh, from the weapon the talent preservation kicks in refreshes the talent all the time and you're just going to keep on regening man it's just it's just super fun so if you want a serious damage build run and gun build if you're using any other build and you're dying uh, even hunter fury don't lie man hunter fury has a lot of damage but if you get caught from all like 360 angle you will die but with this build no you're not going to die you'll survive because Anything you kill will heal you. Anything. It will not only give you armor on kill, but also going to give you regen. So that's the build I wanted to show you guys. Just uh, try it out. It's just a fun build. I've been using this for like the past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I just don't wanted to show you this build till then because I was showing some other weird looking builds. But yeah, I, I just forgot. You know, I have all these projects listed on my on my, on, on my to-do list, to be honest. And I just forget that where that list is. Sometimes I even forget where, that, where I posted that list. It, I have to search on my documents. So yeah, well, whatever. So yeah, this is the build pretty much. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Field and peace.